In this class, we're going to cover how to take attendance in a Moodle class. Some faculty teach using the Moodle platform. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to take attendance in a Moodle course. Let's say that you are teaching a course that has some form of interaction directly with your students where they participate either in a live Zoom session or a study session, or perhaps you're teaching a regular class uh, physically on a campus someplace and your students attend on a regular basis and you want to take attendance. This is how you can go ahead and set up the attendance in Moodle. Make sure that you've got your editing turned on. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create an activity. And you can place this anywhere. I'm going to just put it over here at the very start of the uh, course. You're going to be looking for the attendance activity right there. Select it. And the title's already there. You can put a description if you want to. I choose not to provide a description for this particular item. We're going to go to grade. And in my particular courses, I don't typically give students grades. However, they do lose points for participation if they don't attend. Um, so you can either leave this as 100 points or change it to a different score. Or you can just simply put none. It's entirely up to you. If you did select the point system, though, and you want to give your students points for attendance, you will be able to put the scores right here and select a category if you'd created one. If not, you can go ahead and create a category. And I'm going to go ahead and put it under attendance and participation, which is a category that I created. And you can just go ahead and save and display. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on Add Session, and that is so that we can go ahead and schedule the regular meetings that we're going to have with our students, because right now we don't have anything listed, as I mentioned. So we'll click on Add Session, and uh, the system will automatically reflect the date that you're currently on, and you can go ahead and set up the meetings. Let's say that we want to meet every week from 10 o'clock a.m. until 12 p.m. And just as a reminder, in Moodle, the time is actually listed in military time or 24-hour clock, so that's why you've got numbers that go all the way up to 23. So 16 would be basically 4 p.m. In this particular case, we're going to have a meeting until 12 o'clock noon, so that is what I'm going to be selecting. We're going to scroll down. Uh, leaving this checked right there is going to put that on your calendar, and then um, if you're going to be meeting on a regular basis, uh, you can go to select multiple sessions. So I will plan on meeting with my students every week. So I'm going to go ahead and check the repeat the session above as follows. I want to meet every Wednesday and repeat every one week. So this is going to be weekly. And let's say that we want to end our meetings at the end of the calendar year. So we're going to go ahead and select November 29th. Or actually, let's go ahead and end. Uh, the week prior to winter break and Christmas and the end of the year holidays. So let's go ahead and end at that point. All right. Now, some courses, uh, some faculty or teachers choose to allow students to be able to check in uh, their attendance on their own. I choose not to do that. However, I do encourage you to try both options and see what works best for your situation. Okay, and with that, we are going to go ahead and add those sessions. So as you can see, now we've got weekly sessions set up for our students right there. And let's say that we want to go ahead and record uh, the session for today. Let's say that today is a regular class meeting. So the way that this would work is you would go to the home page. Typically, you would log in, and then you would click on attendance. And then from here, you will go ahead and select that little play button right there. So go ahead and click on that. And you will see a list of your students available right here. And then you can go ahead and basically decide how you are going to uh, mark them for attendance. Now, one thing we haven't covered right now so far is basically this right over here. P-L-E-A. These are the different uh, initials for the statuses for the students. So we didn't talk about that. So let's go ahead and talk about that for a second here. If you go to the very top and click on status set, 
you can decide how you want to basically mark your students. So the P stands for present, L is late, E is excused. Let's say a student emailed you or contacted in advance and said they're not going to be able to come to class and therefore you're going to mark them as excused. And then A is for students that particularly don't show up and don't communicate with you and you have no idea why they're not coming to class. So you can mark them as absent. Now. These are default acronyms and descriptions. However, if you choose to change them in Moodle, you can go ahead and do so at that point uh, right over here. All right, so we're going to go back, though, and we are going to go ahead and say, I've got a small class. We've only got five students, and let's say that they all showed up. So what you could do is uh, you could do select all and then click on P, and that will basically mark all of your students as attended. Um, and if you have a lot of students and most of them show up, you could also select P for all of them, which is present, and then just manually uncheck the ones that did not show up or had excuses. So let's say that Deshaun right here um, had an excused absence. Uh, we can go ahead and check that right there. And let's say that um, Better was actually excused. Now let's say that he was absent for the day. Let's say that he did not show up to class. So we can go ahead and select that, and then you can click on Save. Now, if you do want to add comments, you can do so. So, for example, in Deshaun, uh, we marked him as excuse. You can put the excuse over here. Let's say that he had a uh, doctor's appointment. So you can go ahead and leave a note that way, or you can say emailed on a particular day. So you can put whatever comments you want under the remarks section. Let's go ahead and save. Right. So now we've taken the attendance for that particular day and there is a green arrow there indicating that we've actually changed the attendance. All right. So if you want to see what this looks like, we're going to go into the grade book and we are going to scroll over to the attendance section. All right. So as you can see over here, the attendance Amy was present, so she got 100%, but it was absent, didn't show up, so he got 0%, and so on and so forth. Now, um, in Deshaun's particular case, he's got an F over here, so what you might want to do is you might want to go back and change the uh, point system with a scale system. As I mentioned, in my particular cor courses, I typically don't give students points for showing up to class because attendance in my classes is a requirement. It is a college requirement. However, I do give students participation points in my classes um, if they're engaged and they're participating. Uh, so typically, I don't usually use a point system. And if I did use a point system, I would change this so that uh, the absence would not be an F or the excused um, would not be an F. So how would we go ahead and change that? Well, you would change that basically in the uh, status. So let's go back to the attendance activity right there. Click on status set. And what you'll notice is that, that if a student is present, they get two points. If they are late, they only get one point. If the person is excused, they also get one point. So one point is basically half of the present. So that's why Deshaun is getting 50 um, out of 100. So what we want to do perhaps is if it's excused, you can choose to give him uh, the two points. That way he will get 100% because he did notify in advance, or you can choose to give partial credit. It's entirely up to you how you choose to set this up. All right, let's go ahead and click on Update. All right, so I have changed it so that present and excuse are the same value. Late, the student gets partial credit, and then absent, they get no credit. So we've already updated this. So if we go back to the grade book, Deshaun's grade four attendance should be changed. And there it is. So we changed the point value in the scale, and it changed it right over here as well. And this is how you can go ahead and take attendance for your classes using Moodle.